going on guys i am here this is sugar barge and uh, it is a thursday afternoon it's really windy sorry about the wind noise i just checked into the the campsite going to be here for the next uh, three nights and basically staying here for the tournament on sundays the last uh, yakabass tournament of the season pretty much just gonna fish up until then it's about three o'clock right now i'm not really a, an experienced uh, camper by any means but uh, definitely uh, had to do it a few times this year. I'll give you guys a rundown of kind of what I've brought with me and how I kind of prepare to uh, basically sleep in my truck. A nice uh, little RV park right here. Of course we got a bench. Just got all my rods out here. There's a Titan. And uh, Mike's going to be in this space and Alden as well. We got our electrical hookups pretty much in the back this is where i sleep um this is actually quite comfortable um i'm not too tall so i can almost fully extend in the back seat um and it's it's comfortable i mean we're not sleeping much the night before fishing anyways so it uh, definitely works um here i just have my uh electronics case uh plenty of extra batteries extra sd cards this bag just has chargers and extension cords and stuff little bag of toiletries i'm probably going to need to shower once at least once while i'm here over the next four days let's go back around there is a restaurant up there so we'll probably have dinner there uh each night but uh do you need to bring some food when you're doing three nights and this is basically my kitchen so pretty simple it's all you know dry food uh, plenty of water plenty of extra water Gatorades feel like my garbage can for the weekend um, coffee more coffee very important um, bagels for the mornings we got some uh, English muffins to make some peanut butter sandwiches for lunch some almonds some breakfast bars pizza Pringles sun chips got coffee thermos water thermos um oh yeah very important mustard and sriracha for my other items pretty much have oh, pretty much have all my fishing gear that i'm gonna put on the kayak right here yak attack black pack all my baits in there Got a bag of extra baits and line, just in case I need more. Um, propel drive, Keurig, coffee maker, very important. Got a little suitcase with extra clothes. There's my fish finder and batteries. Uh, some jackets. Yeah, that is pretty much the tour of my truck camping setup. So yeah, this is pretty much my setup that uh, I've grown used to this year. Yeah, it's not, you know, it's not like, something like that over there but uh, it works so that is what I'll be doing for the next three nights four days staying here at Sugar Barge doing some fishing uh, leading up to the tournament on Sunday which should be an exciting one the last one of the season like I said and um, this video is going to be vlog style leading up to that tournament so I hope you guys enjoy it so might as well go fishing I'm close enough where I can just wheel my boat to the ramp over there not too close but it's not too far where I'd have to bring it over with the truck there is a way to make it a lot easier on myself when having to wheel a wheel the Titan a long distance I'll show you right now if you have a sea tug or any other strappable cart this is a much easier way to transport your boat longer distances well, pretty much as simple as that We've got, we've got four wheels now. I'll show you how easy it is. This is gonna be the tough part, going up this hill. Not terrible, not easy. Alrighty, let's do this. I'm gonna stay pretty close to the uh, the launch for the most part. And I know there's fish here too. So this little uh, opening right here, 
Got a lot of success on the other side of it. Start a little chatterbait action. Oh, we had a bite right there. A little bite. Oh, something bit me. I really do hate to do this already, but I want to get a bite here. Oh, he came off. First cast, too. That bird is fearless. I've never had a bird like that let me get this close. He's sticking in here. He's committed. That's not a bad one at all. Oh, what do we got here? That's a good one. That's a strong one. Boy, look at that one. Oh man, look at that. Hook falls right out. Man, they're fun when they're biting the Rage Menace. Let's throw the uh, jerk bait around a little bit. There we go. And jerk bait. Ooh, I am sorry, sir. Holy smokes. Uh, jerk bait fish. Uh, fish are definitely everywhere. A striper? Well, it's a largey. A little better one. I definitely get getting bites with a jerk bait. That's like four casts and three fish. All right, let's head in. Well, it is pretty cool out. It is windy and it definitely feels like fall. Fun few hours out on the water. Caught two good fish um, on the Rage Menace and then I caught a bunch on the jerk bait, small ones. It is about uh, six o'clock. I'll probably just relax now, eat some dinner and uh, Mike is supposed to be getting here, I think around like nine o'clock. So then Mike and I will hit the water bright and early tomorrow morning, all of Friday and uh, put some serious work out on the water and go explore some other areas. That is the plan for now. I will see you guys in a bit. Mike is here. It's about eight o'clock. Yeah, what's going on, man? Literally just about to call you. Some dude in a little golf cart came over and yeah, we're closing up the entire lot. Are you right? stuck in here? No, 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 no. So I'm like, dude, what, what, so I'm like, well, what time you open it? It's like four o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh, that's fine. Okay. Two minutes ago, I was like, what if they close the front? The front's open on that. Yeah, I was like wondering, I was like thinking in my head, I was like, what? I hope they don't close the front. Just uh, getting some gear ready, relaxing, and tomorrow is Friday. We will be fishing, I don't even know how long. How long do you think we're going to fish tomorrow? All day. All day. So, yeah, we're going to fish all day. We're going to check some stuff out and actually make the video itself a different video for tomorrow. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog as we continue on trying to find the winning fish.